While Karens are everywhere, I think we can all agree that nothing will prepare us enough in the event that we have to deal with them. I mean, they can be pretty crazy. So buckle up, because in this video, you'll see some of the most terrible Karens out there. We're starting strong with this first Karen who punched an innocent man out of nowhere. Yep, you heard that right. It got so chaotic that the cops were called. Yeah. I'm allowed to defend myself. No, I don't think so. Yeah, see, that's liberal garbage. I'm allowed to defend myself. You're attacking me. You. You're coming up. Yes, you did. I have that here. Try to move your phone. No, lady, you're not allowed to grab me. You're not allowed to grab me. You have no authority to put your hands on me. None. You hit me. You have no authority to put your hands on me. I was filming your altercation with that lady. I have you on camera hitting me, lady. You're not supposed to be in my in my. She hit me. She hit me. I saw that. I got the, I'm calling the police. I don't know what the hell she's. What's wrong with her? Next up, this woman was minding her own business while dancing in the club when she was suddenly involved in a messy fight. To make matters worse, it was with a Karen. Just look at what happened next. <laughs> Up next, this skate park Karen decided to show how dedicated she was to being a mean human being and refused to move out of the way in the middle of a skate ramp. Despite being jumped on by one of the kids, Karen still chilled and denied the skaters full access to the park. So we came to this skate park and had a woman sitting completely in the way. She refused to move after several attempts to make her understand that nobody can skate this way. So even the kids started trying to make her move. Then I had this idea, as she sat perfectly to try something, lol. <laughs> Almost everybody loved it. And then I flipped to celebrate. <laughs> Guess what? She still didn't approve. Y'all know it's not bad to advocate for less paper use, but this barista was not having it when Karen complained about their cups. You don't have cups? No, we don't have cups. If I had known it was going to keep her cups, I wouldn't be the corner. This Karen was calling out the driver behind her for no reason when her own vehicle decided to run away from her. I think we can all agree karma bit her hard. What I do? 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 How did I get in here? How did I get in here? I don't know. How did I get in here? How did I get in here? You better Imagine biking out with your friends, and then a Karen jumps on you all of a sudden and demands you to get off the sidewalk. That's what happened to this group of kids. Guess what? Karen even tried to make it look like the guys were the one at fault. Just classic Karen behavior, if you ask me. And that was you. Get the hell off the sidewalk now. Excuse me? Get off the sidewalk. Please don't touch me. Why'd you just hit me? Want me to hit you again? What the f is wrong with you? Yeah. You don't f touch me. Oh. I'll do what I want. You tried to run Mom! Mom! Bro, she just hit me! Hey, Mom! She just hit me! Come on now, come on, tell your story. She just hit me! Uh-huh. She just hit me! You hit my child? Yes, she did. Yes, she just did. I have a camera, you want to see the video? Would you like to see the We're well aware. He tried to run us down on the sidewalk. I did not. And and lied to us. I have a video. It's a great thing that there's a camera strapped to his chest. Good! Get come on, boy! Just get it on! Let me see it! Come on! Come on! Get away from me! Come on! Come on! I swear to god, if this old lady touches me again. I can't 
Wait, if this old lady oh, touches me again, I swear to God. Oh, oh, oh hey, you are here. I'm go, the police. You need go to get go. A, go get a life. You need to go to your house. Bye bye. Go away. This is crazy. I could go anywhere. You've been. You don't, don't hit children. You don't oh, hit children. It's against the law. Constantly. It's against the law. She showed me shame on the videos. And shame on dad. That your boy would kill She hit me. She hit me. She is an absolute. He's got the whole thing on camera. I have it on camera. I didn't want. No. Yelling at him. I can be on the sidewalk. I can do anything I want. She touched my child and then she on the cop. She already did. She she hit me. Moving on, this Karen was fuming after her neighbor decided to put a fence on his own property. Yep, you heard that right. I guess Karen was just a little too concerned about something she doesn't own. Ours. This was ours. And you know that I've told you several times. That's that. why I put a fence up so I wouldn't have to see y'all anymore. Did you get ACC approval? Did you get, let me see the ACC approval. Let me see the ACC approval right now. Up next is this woman who refused to leave an aircraft despite being told to. Karen even claims she's being kicked out because she's a Trump supporter. Did she not think it was because of the offensive things she said? Free speech is dead. Excuse me, didn't do anything. You don't like the words coming out of my mouth. No, we're not coming off. Then you're going to have to take everyone off. Do you guys see what's happening in America? You didn't like what he said, and now we're getting kicked off a plane. And all of you all are going to have to wait. This is f***ing outrageous. You guys, we're going to turn into China. It's coming. Apparently, the president or the mass people didn't like what I said. Really? Oh, I love Elon Musk. He is the best. Elon! I am suing you. What is your name, sir? Take off, 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 as soon as the sheriff gets here, we do a policy. What do we do? Can you tell me what we did? Listen, you gotta get off the plane because we're Trump supporters. Seriously, I really think that's what it is. Don't do that. This woman was yelling at someone in the early morning, and other pedestrians were not having it. Next is the classic anti-mask Karen, and as always, they throw a tantrum even worse than a three-year-old. Y'all, Karen is showing out in Trader Joe's. She does not have on a mask, and somebody said, F you leave, and she is having it up. Trader Joe's. This is day one. This is opening day of Trader Joe's in North Hollywood. This is Karen. We got it. <laughs> a porch stealer was caught getting a package from a random house. But the thing is, she was not ready for the karma to hit her. And literally as well. This is what instant karma looks like. <laughs> yeah, they drive off. I'm sure whatever was in that box isn't worth what it's going to cost to get that car fixed. Have you ever seen a Karen using powers? Well, if not, take a look at this. This woman is seen trying to intimidate a cop with some kind of sorcery, but that did not work. And as you can see, she got karma instead. Another Karen and their very questionable logic. You see, this woman was throwing a tantrum when she ordered a dozen donuts and was not given 50 pieces. She should relearn math first. I need more. I need more. 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 
What's worse than a nosy neighbor? Well, a nosy Karen neighbor. And this man had his first-hand encounter with Karen, who thinks she has the right to invade his personal space and even make him prove his residency. Yeah, you I do. No right. I need you to remove yourself from the vehicle. You're Call the police. I'm ready to talk to them. You're not you allowing... Because you will then prove to them that you're supposed to be to here. To them, not yes. to you. Not to you. So move. Call them. Why would I call the police on myself? You need to move. You're, no, I don't. It's you're causing an unsafe situation and you're entrapping me from leaving. You're, I cannot leave because you of cannot prove to me that you belong here. Up next is this Karen who claimed to be a teacher but seems to be uneducated when it comes to public conduct. Hi, right, what's going on? You me. see this house? Yeah. I live here. Yeah. And I'm a teacher. So what's up with you? Hard, and you are keeping me up. So you. Go away before I call the police. All right, cool. Go, go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What would you do when Karen shuts you up while you're basefully busking on the street? Take this lady, for example, who just shrugged it off and continued to sing despite Karen's disapproval. I, I need it to do what you do. This employee had a Karen who ranted that she had walked through the rain into Walmart. Well, lady, you're not the only person who just had a bad day. Just move on. Hello. Okay. And I'm on the phone with the customer. Right? What? Call the manager. And I'm the manager. Okay. 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 Call another one. Okay. And the customer. I'm understanding you, but I can't do three, four things at one time. I didn't think that I was going to wear things. I'm saying you already bought half an hour. Yes, but I'm telling you we're picking up today. There's nobody there. They're out there having a break telling me to come back here. And I walked back and forth in the form of rain. I'm not going to walk in the rain again. And I need help. I came for this. I'm like, my own way. And if you would relax for a minute, I will go get your eyes and say, I'm done. That's all I'm not going to get your eyes and you're going to wait on me. I'm going to kill you. Up next is this customer who had a mental breakdown in a Victoria's Secret store because the employee was unfriendly. Maybe there's a reason why the staff's not very welcoming towards her, right? I recorded my mental breakdown to the I She pushed me to this point. <laughs> She's recording me. She, she said, I'll oh, stay by six feet and she was really unfriendly. And then she This do not, I swear to God, this do not feel real. <laughs> I haven't been having a hell of two weeks. Since I had that accident, I, like, I feel, I, I don't know. I'm going to just say, you know, everything is a lot of this woman thought that telling the employees of a Mexican restaurant to speak English and leave America is not racist. Guess what, Karen? It is. Racist Karen is demanding these restaurant employees to speak English. It's a Mexican restaurant, by the way. Go home, Karen. Nobody's got time for that. I've been in California for 20 years, and you need, English is the, our first language, so you need to speak English. I'm sorry about you. Well, I'm sorry about you, too. What? Out of my country. Oh, you, you. So now yeah. it's a use because what I look. Do you see that's the problem? No, that's I don't in have, you. That's I don't in have your any mind. problem with that's what, in your mind. I don't have any problem so, with the way you, you look. I'm a USC. What is your problem? Will you shut what up? You wouldn't give me your name. You're in America. You need to speak English. Is that nice to say you won't leave? Yeah, what is I'm not racist. Okay, no, that's racist. You think Karens are insufferable? Well, take a look at this woman who randomly knocks her keys on a person's car window for no real reason. She's definitely the type of Karen you should avoid. So I decided to stop and, you know, pull over so that I wasn't texting and driving. And yes, I'm here at a handicap spot. But I was just pulling over for a moment so I could send a message. And now I have a Karen here sitting and, you know, hitting my window.
Oh, God bless you, Karen. Another neighbor, Karen, and this time, it looks like she cared too much about someone else's car. She almost knocked off their front door from banging. Hey, there's no one home right now. That's not true. No. I just saw you walk in the house. Okay. I need you to move your car because I have a tow truck coming in about two minutes. I'm That's why sure I cleared the no place one, in front of the I'm car. pretty sure that there's Please no one at my house right now. Please move the car. Is there any way you can get the car moved? No, I'm sorry. Is there any way you can get right now? What? The one's at work right now. I'm what? sorry. I'm, well, I need somebody to move the car. I just had I'm it cleared. Sorry. Ma'am, I did not know this Please. at the beginning of the morning. I am Please at work. Everyone in my house is... I cannot. I am at work. I'm going to have them tow your car if you don't if get you somebody here to move it. Car, I will call the cops on you. You will not touch my car. Another day, another Karen, and another parking spot drama situation. This time, Karen even tried to record the other person who allegedly stole her parking spot. She even tried to tell me to back up so they can park. You're in the public. You're in the public. You're in the public, ma'am. I'm not being rude. It's a parking spot. This woman was assaulted by a Karen who kept insisting she was begging people for money when she was just playing music on the streets. If you think dealing with one Karen is a handful, try dealing with four. This man had his car parked when a group of ladies decided to block it. They had a hefty verbal argument, which escalated very quickly. Is this woman here blocking my car in while I'm legally parked in the handicapped space? Here's, a, here's her plate number. Here's the woman who is assisting her in holding me against my will. There's the VIN number for the vehicle. Excuse me. Get out of here. Don't touch me. I didn't touch you. Don't, don't touch me. You don't have any permission to film. Dude, lady, you guys, you're in you public. Get there's no expectation of privacy in public. Just go away. Just go away. You could have got you could have walked away. You could have walked silly away. Movie. You understand that I have a handicap placket. It you're blocking me up. in. It was not up. It I was, was on my phone doing it something. Was not up. I was on my it phone. Was not up. It's up now, isn't it? Excuse me. Don't, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch my stuff. I'm not doing jack shit. You call the police, I'm staying awake. Okay. Sue, I cannot take him, okay? Excuse me. I would get that out of my face, ma'am. The only one that's being a retard are the people that are blocking me in and not allowing me to leave, which is illegal, ma'am. Totally, 100% illegal. I was on my phone. You got a problem with me using my phone? First of all, you don't have any. You have no why. You have no idea what my 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 disability is. So mind your business. How about that? You're not supposed to have more than one. Doesn't matter. What's mine? You're 100% wrong. And you're 100% wrong for blocking me in. Women? Really? really, lady? You're the one that came out after the fact. So why don't you mind your business? Have a nice day. Enjoy the day, ma'am. Have fun.
Oh yeah, okay, stupid. Okay, stupid. This woman waited for a car in a parking lot and shouted at the driver out of nowhere. I guess Karen's just had plenty of time to waste these days. Akira Rabbit! 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 Kira! Wait, this woman's saving everyone's life? <laughs> This lady was asked to leave a shopping center after a security guard spotted her in the outfit she was wearing. It even went to the point that the Karen employee threatened to call the cops. If you weren't being rude and discriminatory towards what I was wearing, we wouldn't have an issue. That is my job. Leave me alone. Make me leave. So how come we can have a, there's a store in here that sells clothing like this, but I can't wear it in here? Any shirt that covers your that's whole it. stomach. Why is that? Because that's the law. So where does it say that? Can you show me the law? Can you bring it up? Go to the center management. It's just common I'm courtesy. sure you can ring them. No, what do you mean common courtesy? You walked yeah. straight out of here as soon as you saw me coming up there. Exactly. What's your, what's your issue? I can see your stomach. My stomach? Yeah. Is it because you can't show yours? No, I wouldn't want to. No, yeah, I wouldn't I want to see it either. Okay, get out. Well, she's not wearing a top. Yeah. I saw you first. So, you, so I can't wear a top, but this lady can. Well, I saw her after I saw you, and you're a star. So now you can leave. No, I'm not going to leave. I will call the cops. Call them, please. All right. Imagine you're just walking out with your kid when a Karen decides to call you out for not putting a jacket on your own child. How would you react? Well, this mom made sure to give Karen a piece of her mind. <laughs> what kind of a mother puts a coat on themselves but not their daughter? We're just walking to the car and I don't, this is my jacket. Are you cold? Because if you are, she is. Get a coat. Get a coat for your kid. This lovely employee was just doing her job at Walmart when Karen harassed her and ordered her to call the manager. The purpose? We'll never know, but I'm sure it's nothing serious. What? Do you have a medical issue? Yes. What's your medical issue? It's none of your business. Well, I'm a nurse. I'm just wondering if you're unbelievably rude. Yeah, I, I feel a stroke. Have you had a stroke? Because at least that didn't work out. No, I'm being straight. Are they still down, Rachel? I want you to call a manager up here. Rachel, a woman wants to speak with a manager. Much nicer with Rachel. This concerned Karen decided to catch up with a biker and demand him to get out of the trails and onto the streets. Uh, pretty much being too nosy, if you ask me.
A woman stood in front of a car and even flipped off the driver. But wait, there's more because she even went up to the driver's seat and argued with the man behind the wheel. And, and what's wrong with you, ma'am? What's your problem? Get off your phone. What's your problem? Get what? off. Get what? off. Don't touch me. Get, get off. Don't touch me. Get off. Don't touch me. And get off your phone. Don't touch me. You're in a parking lot. You're walking across. I waited for you to park and you get in front of me. You walk back. That's really stupid. Get off your phone and pay attention to the people I wasn't on walking. The phone. Yeah. What is that in that your one, hand? I just turned it on. It's called recording, you dumbass. You were holding it in your hand. I, you were on I your have, phone. Oh, I wasn't on you my phone. You were on your phone. Get out of my face. You pay attention to people that Get are driving. Get out of my face. You pay attention to people that are walking. I am. Did I hit you? I wasn't even close you to your You weren't paying ass. attention. I was. You, no, you weren't. Get out of my face. Get out of this parking lot. Get out of my face. Get out of this parking lot. Coming up next, this Karen called out the people working on her house for eating during lunch hours. I guess she's not impressed that they're not working during lunch break. Do I actually pay you to have your lunch? Or do I pay you to actually work? I don't think I do, do I? You know what time it is? It's do lunchtime. Pay you? It's not, you're, you're not paid for lunch. You're not paid, you're, you're actually paid to work. You, if you want lunch, then you, you get off the premises and you go and have lunch elsewhere. That's because it's over break, isn't it? Yeah, but you're not going to have a break on my time. You're going to have a break on your time. Uh, excuse me, we are entitled to a break, you know. Yeah, but I'm not going to pay for you for the break. You, you don't have to pay us for the break. You've what you've done. You're actually so far behind at this moment. Hey, sorry, are, are you are you, uh, are you experienced in the, in the kind of work that we do? Oh, I think my husband does. And my you husband think your husband does? Is your husband here? Has he had a look at the work? No, he hasn't, has he? No, I've sent him photos and he's not impressed. Right, okay. Well, if you go and have a look and see all the plasma we've done upstairs, so yeah, the insulation we've done. I'm expecting a lot more done for that. I actually want you to, I, I'm actually paying you to get this finished today. Mm. And I was expecting this to be finished and it's not. Finished by midday? Yeah. It's a three day the job. What you gave me was the fact that you'd actually finish this by midday. It's now way No, late. I didn't. I didn't oh, say it'd be yeah. finished by midday. It should be finished in three days. It's a three day job. So you want to do an eight hour day without having a break? Yeah. A whole eight hour day without having a break? Yeah. Of manual labor, yeah? Yeah. Imagine just driving home and wanting to park your car, but Karen decided to call the cops on you because she's not impressed with your decision. I'd be so pissed if I was in that situation. This Karen right here calls the police because she doesn't want to she doesn't want to close her door to let us pull into our parking spot to get into our apartment. So she calls the police. You can open your door. You, you want sound me to stupid. Hit your car? You sound dumb. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, real dumb. Yeah, because um, I'm sure All you gotta there's do is been be cautious. times where <laughs> it's been two spots huh? and you got your groceries out. Possible. You made it away, Karen. What's Stop talking to me. Back the f up, Karen. Back the f up, Karen. Up next, this Auntie Karen was annoyed by people walking in front of her, so she decided to block their way. But not least, this woman was banned from a jewelry store for not wearing a mask. What did she do next? Well, she accused the staff of pushing her and even insisted on going in despite being told not to. So which Karen was the worst? Let us know and we'll see you in the next video.